In the book of Judges, we find the story of Gideon. God had asked Gideon to rise and fight the Midianites, who were an army of about 150,000 soldiers. When God calls Gideon, uh, 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 he responds with a lot of questions. Among those questions, I've heard of you. Yes, I've heard the great miracles that you have done in the past. However, I haven't seen any of them lately. When Gideon understands the calling of God, he says, okay, but look, I have to be sure that it is you who is calling me. And he asks for a sign three times. And in three different times, God shows him the deal is legit. Now, when Gideon finally accepts, God tells him that his army is way too many and basically leaves him with about 300 men. When I think of, I think of that, when Gideon realizes that for every soldier of his, there are 500 enemy soldiers, he gets scared again. But God notices that. So in Judges 7, verse 9, all right, Judges 7, verse 9, it says, It happened on the same night that the Lord said to him, Arise, go down against the camp, for I have delivered it into your hand. But if you are afraid to go down, go down to the camp with Pura, your servant. All right. Verse 11. And you shall hear what they say. And afterward, your hand shall be strengthened to go down against the camp. Mm. Mm. And when he went, he heard the enemy talking about how one of them, all right, had had a dream and they named Gideon by name as the victor of the war. It is then and only then that Gideon's fear goes away and goes out to fight. Now, how is this relevant in your life, you might ask? Well, keep in mind that Gideon's title was the weakest, all right? The title that Gideon had, he was the weakest of the tribe, of the whole entire tribe. Gideon was not a man of war. Gideon had a lot of fear and doubt. So much so that when God himself told him that he was going to win the war, he didn't believe it until he heard it from the mouth of the enemy. Mercy. Yo, how is it possible that our faith is so whack sometimes that we have to hear from the lips of humans in order for us to be convinced that we'll win. How is it possible that we trust more the numbers, more than God's word? Let me ask you something. Did you ever play a sport where two captains, two people, two captains chose their team from the crowd? Like, hey, you with me. And then the other person would be like the same, right? Hey, you with me. And then they would pick, right? And I don't know if you ever, if you ever were the last one to be chosen, but it didn't feel good, right? I mean, I was always chosen first. No, I was not always chosen first. Like, I remember at times when I was chosen last, and I was like, bro, really? Last? Well, with God, things, wor things work differently. With God, he looks, he looked in the land, right, and saw a strong man and was like, ah, uh, no. And then he saw the weakest of the weakest of the weakest Gideon. And he was like, yeah, that's the one. And through that guy, with all of his imperfections, he won an impossible battle. I don't know about you, but if you have ever taken a look at your faith and your spiritual life and said, man, I am weak. Well, apparently, those are the ones who God loves to work with. If God was able to use Gideon, bro, Gideon, the weakest of the weakest, to win an impossible battle, I want to let you know that God is using you today to win some extraordinary, impossible battles in your life. Just don't shut him away. Talk to him. Obey him. And that's how you'll win. God patiently deals with faltering faith. 
like he looks at our faith and he's like dang yo sometimes you got to hear with some from somebody else versus my word versus scripture but it amazes me that god says yeah that's the one and that's you that's you the important thing is to not shut him away the important thing is to engage in a conversation with him and, and tell him, Lord, you're going to have to do better than this. Not because of you, but because of how whack and how weak I am. If you've ever saw yourself as a weak spiritual person and you've struggled with your faith, think of Gideon. Believe it. Believe it. Share it.